Hey, yeah, uh, I talked about this Kronos in my last video, but what happens if you're trying to open a lock and your bottom of the keyway tensioner, it, it, it rides up too high and it's interfering with the Kronos ability to, to um, hit those bottom keys and open the lock. And so you change to top of the keyway tension and then you try the Kronos, plenty of room. And your topic tensioner falls out because you wanted to hold it quite loosely, but then it falls out. So what Multipick has done is they've provided a Multipick tuning tool, which is you can buy separately from the Kronos. And what happens is that this pushes down, and so when it, these two are inserted, it uh, goes like this, and you're tensioning on the top and the bottom. I'll show you this bit better like this. Maybe. You can see it's tensioning from the top and the bottom. Also, another thing about this, is that when it tensions, this is actually on the spring, so you you don't over tighten it. You see, if I let go, it springs back. Same same with this way, springy. If I let go, it springs back. That's because you don't want to tension this too tight because these are just, this is just thin metal, and you might bend them or break them. They do send some spares in case you do. But the idea is that, especially with the Kronos, you just want loose tension. Now, this seems like a good idea, but I would never try and single pin pick like this because I can't get close and I don't have feedback like I do from the bottom of the keyway tensioner or top of the keyway tensioner. I get instant feedback from what's going on when I'm picking. Here, I don't, and I can't get close and um, I've just found it impossible to single pin pick with this. But for the Kronos it's perfect because I want just loose tension and let the Kronos do its work by whacking those bottom pins to send those top pins above the shear line. That extra distance, if this is not long enough for some locks, they do provide you some spares and one of them is much longer. And that this one here is, is really good for those locks that require extra distance. So they've thought ahead about that. So let's try picking this. It's locked up. I'm going to use the Kronos tool and I have to shift it in the angle that I can reach with the Kronos tool and the camera. I'm going to tension it slightly. Okay. This turned a little bit, but since the turning spring is quite strong, I, I don't want to break these things. So I'm going to get a screwdriver to turn it the rest of the way, and it's unlocked. And now let's try that one more time, except we'll turn the other way. Okay, so I'm just tensioning here. It's light tension because of the, um, the turning tool has that spring, like I said. Light tension. Okay, it turned a little bit. I'm going to turn it the rest of the way with the screw and it's unlocked. Okay, so that this turning tool is, is an ideal companion to the Kronos or any electric pit gun in my opinion.